YouTube, YouTube, YouTube is your boy. Oh, yeah. I just realized. I just realized how how tight my wave cap is now. I just realized that. Hey, you know the funny part? My hairline stop here. This is my hairline. My hairline right here. But I get this damn thing all the way down close to my eyebrows. I must be trying to give my wave, my my eyebrows some wave. But what's up, YouTube? It's your boy R. Welcome back to AM Island Vibe. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing all right too. Back with another reaction video. Today we have back with uh my uh, what's it called? How do you say it? My half pink headed one of my favorite animators. I must say that uh, first I'm a cat. First was Young Dawn, but I, I, I feel like Dawn, Young Dawn the Sauce God. I, I feel like he came to how do you say it? YouTube. I don't know if that was a word. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like he just, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just, he ain't got the sauce like he had the sauce once upon a time, you know? So right now, Yo Yo is my favorite, personally, you know? But yeah, we're gonna be reacting to one of his videos. I lost $17,000 at work. They call the cops on you, bro? Cops was called. Oh, gosh. But if you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Yo, we are five. We are five subscribers away from one. My first K. Please pop my virginity for my first K, please. Hey, you know what? Let me take that back. <laughs> Let's get to the video. I, I wild it. Sorry, I'm a little excited. I see four of my managers and two cops in the room, just glaring at me. Damn. He looks at me and says, "Yo, yo." We were looking at the logs and we see a huge sum of money missing, around 17k. So why don't you explain that? I'm just gonna get to the point. What? Hello, sir. Oh, oh, oh that, that, that moved quick. If you keep up with my videos, I see you know, women. In my life, I you know what? I see you. Store. Nah, hold up. Sorry, yo, yo, we gotta go back. I see women. I see women. I see women. Oh, she's Jamaican. Oh, she does the background. Oh, yeah, I saw he put that Keep up. up with my videos. You know that in my life, I worked at a grocery AG? store, a Chipotle, and a karate dojo. But, you know, when you work multiple jobs, of course, you're going to get fired from at least one of them. So, of those jobs, I've been fired from the grocery store and the Chipotle. I can't agree to that. And the karate dojo. Okay, say that. That's all of the jobs. Shut the f and not these fire <laughs> yeah, the yeah. worst most definitely had to be the grocery store one. It was so bad, in fact, that the police had to get involved. So one day I was working a midday shift on a cash register, and it had to be like a Wednesday or something because the store was dead. And that's the worst because it makes your shift feel so much longer yeah. and more boring than it already is. So I'm sitting there wiping my register, questioning if I should chug the service cleaner because I had already finished counting all the tiles on the ceiling. But then I see this girl around my age come up and I spring to action because I finally had something to do. But I noticed she doesn't have a cart. It says she had one of those prepaid bank gift card things that you can put money on. So she walks up and she's just mad cool. We're talking, joking around. We even talked about anime for a bit. This was just the type of customer that I needed on this boring day. In the midst of the conversation, she hands me the prepaid card and asks me to put $500 on it. Now, me thinking she was joking around, I didn't do anything, but I realized she had stopped laughing and is just holding the card with her hand. $500 was definitely an unusual amount, but I figured since she was paying, uh, sure, okay. So I scan the card, put the $500 on it, it approves, and I go to hand her the receipt, but she reaches down and grabs another card and tells me to put another 500 on it. So I scan, add the money, and approves. Now that this is actually over, I go to hand her the receipt, but she then grabs another card asking for another $500. At this point, I'm like, am I being flexed on? Like, what are you doing? I add the 500, hand her the card, and I'm thinking this has to be done now because this, what, 19-year-old girl has just spent Fifteen hundred dollars. There is no way it's two thousand now. More. I can go back to cleaning my room. a scammer. Without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, she hands me another I card, and guess what she does? Guess, guess, no guess. What did she do? She puts another five hundred dollars on the card, and we do this a good seven times, but then. Her card declined, so I let her know, and this chick proceeds to grab a bag full of credit cards. And I'm just looking at her like, 
what's going on? I ask her why she has a bag full of credit cards, and she tells me she runs a non-profit organization for sickle cell anemia awareness, and she Aww. has a barbecue that she's going to be throwing with her company, and that she's going to be handing these cards. Yeah. And the she's a scammer! I know it! I know a scammer when I see a scammer. That fight, I knew it! She got, she's a caperoni, she's a scammer! I knew it! I knew it already! Or it, but you're all stupid. You little, you little, you little cracky, but you're all stupid. I know a scammer! I went to her co-workers and they told her Cow. to get cards from the grocery store. I'm sure anyone with a minimum of two functioning brain cells is thinking, hmm, this is a little sus. Well, my two collective brain cells would also know what's going on if they weren't too busy fighting over third place because I believed everything that she said. I'm gullible, okay? Honestly, uh. all you have to do is say something with a little bit of confidence. And I'll believe it. She even showed me a picture of a kid holding a basketball and told me it was her son. Bro, she Google that. I just have too much faith in the universe, okay? It, it, it's my one and only flaw. Eh, well, shut. After telling me this story, she pulls out this stack of prebate cards and puts them on the table. I scan all of the cards, and each one she's putting five hundred dollars. We scan. Scam. Credit cards maxed out. Scam. Another credit card out of the bag and keep doing that. And on one hand, I'm like, wow. What a selfless young woman. She does not have to do this. We need more people like her in the world. Think so? On the other hand, I'm thinking, would she believe me if I told her I had sickle cell anemia? Like, like, would she give me a call? Anyways, the stack runs out and we're at a grand total of at least $10,000. I've been scanning for like 30 minutes. Now at this point, this, what, 19 year old girl has just spent $10,000? There is no way she has more. I can go back to cleaning my register because this is without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, she goes to the card aisle and grabs another stack of prepaid cards. And guess what she tells me to do? No, entertain me. Guess. What did she do? She tells me to put $500 on all of the cards. We finish up and I don't know how much money she spent, but it was well over 15,000. I know that for sure. She leaves, I continue my day, and then I hear over the intercom, uh, Johannes, I'm gonna need you in the office right now. And within seconds, a manager is walking me to the door, and they never work this fast, so I'm mad confused. I don't even log off the register. We walk into the office and I ask my manager, what's up, and she doesn't even look at me. She swings open the door, bam, and I see four of my managers and two cops in the room just glaring at me. She looks at me and says, yo, yo, we were looking at the logs and we see a huge sum of money missing, around 17K. So why don't you explain that? I look at my manager, the two cops, the handcuffs that they're holding, and I get nervous and don't say anything. And then this one cop springs up. I'm just gonna get to the point. Do you know who this woman is? He shows me a picture of the girl with the credit cards. Oh, oh yeah, just, I just had her as a customer. I told them the whole sickle cell anemia story and about the credit cards and everything. And then they look at me like I'm stupid. And they then explain that I got conned and how I should have seen it coming, but I'm like, Nah, there, there's no way. She showed me a picture of her son holding a basketball. Kid holding. Ah, oh, so good! I can tell you! One of these kids. I look over at the computer screen and my heart just drops because I see the exact picture on the screen. This girl showed me a Google image. They question me more. Yo, yo, I think I can sell you here. Yo, yo, I think I. I <laughs> you know, I, 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 I guess I'm oxygen. I'm sorry. Or eventually let me go, but I have to bag groceries instead of scanning them, and I just know someone's about to come out here and fire me. So I'm bagging, and then I look at the door, and I see the lady walking back to a register with the cards. This chick really came back. Why would she do that? She's just being selfish at this point. She looks and sees me bagging, and I think she can tell that I know what she's doing, and she gives me this look almost as if to tell me to pretend she's not there and just let her go and... I think me snitching on her is the only reason I kept my job. <laughs> yeah, I immediately called my manager and the cops were still in the store and I just see her leaving in handcuffs and I, I guess she got arrested and yes, I said kept my job. This isn't the story of me getting fired, but this, this was too crazy not to tell you. But you know what's funny? The reason I got fired 
was actually much worse than this. But that's a story for another time. You lost them seven something. You lost them seventeen thousand dollars and there's something worse than that. I would like to hear this story of how you how why you yo. I, um, my story of how I I've never misplaced money from my my previous job like that. My previous job, I right, so I was a door to door uh, salesperson. So I would go to people selling them internet, home internet, broadband packages or cell phone plans. So what they tend to do a lot is say, "Oh, you work for, you work in the office." So yeah, okay. I'm a, they, they'll give me the cash. They're like, "Hey." Top me up, uh, say, because we use credit in the church and kickers. It's a prepaid, we use prepaid, so you have to put minutes on, like, say you put five dollars minutes. You get five dollars worth of credit on your phone and it runs out. Most of the Caribbean countries does it. So I'll do it for my phone, send it to them, whatever, 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 and take the money, carry it to the office, and give it to my manager. So, what happens sometimes is that sometimes they would tip me, and sometimes I'd have the money to give to my manager. So this particular day, I, I was poor, I was broke, boy. I was broke, bro. I, was, I wasn't even broke. I was break. I was break. I was done break. I break. Right? I said, boy, you hungry? I ain't get paid yet. I break. Right? So I go to my pocket. I see $50. I get excited. I said, ooh, boy, this is where I coming from. Boy, I go on, I go to the grocery store. I bought another boy. I buy, I, I keep myself my I don't lunch. I sit down there. Mm, mm, mm. My manager comes in. Hey, all right. Um, you get fifty dollars for me. So I said, "What are you talking about?" She was like, "We, we, should, but on your stack, we short fifty dollars." So I was like, "Damn it! That's what that fifty dollars was for." Like, you know, but she said, "She said, wait back, put, put it back, put the company back their money." I said, "All right, cool. I'll put the money back." You know, that's the most I ever done. That's seventeen thousand dollars, man. No, I never did that much. I most I did was fifty dollars. But yeah. Scammer! She was a scammer. I get this stuff. My, it's in the back of my head. The, the heat in the back of my head was telling me, but that's a scammer. Boy. What else is a scammer? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Man, you guys are new to the channel, man. Smash the like button, subscribe. Comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Show you boys some love. Whatever you say. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Be happy. Be blessed. I'm a mother. The world is yours. Peace. I'm out.